Welcome to our lecture online. So, which method should we use to solve this problem? When I take a look at it, remember, the goal was to find a numerical coefficient for the same variable that was the same. And in this case, we have a, two, a negative 2y and a positive 2y. And then we want to change the sign so that one is positive, one is negative. So when we add the two equations, that variable is eliminated. So it seems like the obvious choice would be the method of elimination. So side by side, we're going to take this and use the method of substitution because all I have to do is move the negative 2y to the other side and I have had x in terms of y and then I can substitute that into the second equation. It sounds like both methods are pretty good. So let me do both methods. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add the two equations together. So we get x plus 3x which is 4x a minus 2y plus 2y which is 0 equals 1 plus 11 which is 12 so we end up with 4x is equal to 12 divide both sides by 4 and so x equals 3 then I take that and plug that into one of my two equations so maybe I'll plug it in here so let's bring this down here we get x minus 2y equals 1 so the x goes x equals 3 goes in here 3 minus 2y equals 1. I move the 3 to the other side. Minus 2y equals 1 minus 3. Minus 2y equals minus 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. And I get y equals 1. So the solutions are x equals 3, y equals 1. So here I'm going to do the method of substitution. I take my first equation, I write as x is equal to 2y plus 1 by moving the 2y to the other side. I repeat the second equation, 3x is equal, oh, not is equal to, that would be a plus. So that would be plus 2y equals 11. And now I'm going to substitute what x is equal to in terms of y into my second equation. So now I write 3 times instead of x, 2y plus 1 plus 2y is equal to 11. So notice all I did was replace the x in the second equation by what x is equal to from the first equation. Now I have an equation that only contains the variable y. So here we get 6y plus 3 plus 2y equals 11. Move the 3, oop, 11. Move the 3 to the other side. I get 6y plus 2y is equal to 11 minus 3. 8y equals 8. So y equals 1. And then I take that and plug that back into one of my two equations, let's take the top equation, x minus 2y equals 1. So we're going to plug the 1 equal for, we set y equal to 1. So x minus 2 times 1 equals 1. x minus 2 equals 1. x is equal to 1 plus 2. So we can say that x is equal to 3. That should be 3. There we go. And did I get the same result as before? I certainly did. And using two different methods on the same problem, getting the same answer, that's a pretty good indication that we did it correctly. Now, when I take a look at those two methods, it does look like the method of elimination was less work than the method of substitution. So sometimes it's a preference. Sometimes you can kind of look ahead and go, wow, they already gave it to me on a silver platter. I can simply add the two equations, eliminate y, that makes it a lot easier and faster. Or I can see, oh, I can just put this by itself, move the 2y across, and now I have x in terms of y. I substitute in the second equation. Either method is perfectly valid. It almost becomes a matter of choice unless they tell you which method you have to use. And that is how it's done. Wake up.